things off. I'm gonna try and fill this trailer up. It's been kind of a, a hectic day today, a hectic morning. A lot of delays. But I think we've got it all figured out. It just took a lot of time out of my morning. So now I'm going to be uh, rushing on the double. Wait, not rushing like Russian, Russian, like rushing with a G on the end. Rushing on the double. Gotta be careful. Jeez. Wouldn't want people to start thinking I'm some kind of like Twitter bot or something. Wait, is that still a thing? Do those still exist or did they, are they gone now? I have no idea. I can't keep up with all these conspiracy theories. I was reading through my comments before from uh, this weekend's video where I was talking about it's better to have a big vehicle than a small vehicle. I'm sorry if I offended you. A lot of people popped in the comment section defending the honor of the small car. The crash rating of the smart car. Astronomical. I know. I know. But I don't care what the crash rating says, okay? You collide head on with a one ton pickup truck and a smart car, you lose! You lose! You're most likely dead. And the people in the pickup truck, probably gonna be okay. You know, if you get, you know, hit by a semi truck. In a pickup truck, you may get pretty badly hurt, but you'll probably be okay depending on how bad the accident is. If you get hit by a semi truck and you're in a smart car, you're dead. Game over, you lose. I'm not gonna change my stance on that one. <laughs> I know they have incredible crash safety ratings, right? That's for when they crash into a, a vehicle like this, of similar size and weight. I guarantee you, you get T-boned in a little Yaris by a three-quarter ton pickup. You're not gonna make it. But if a Yaris T-bones a pickup, I'll just have to redo my paint buff that out just a little bit. A little bit more than that, but you get my point, right? I don't feel safe in small vehicles on the highway, especially in North America where we we're, we all drive such big vehicles here already. I don't want to put myself at more of a risk. That's just me though. It's very interesting to read other opinions in my comment section though. Yeah, they're good on gas, but I'd rather pay the extra gas for that safety, you know? When it comes to collisions, bigger is better. You know? I don't care what safety crash rating your your little smart car has. If you T-bone a truck, you lose. <laughs> and the pickup's gonna drive home. If that was the other way around, like I just said, right? If that big pickup T-bones your smart car, you're not gonna drive it home. <laughs> I don't know, I always recommend big vehicles. Britt and I both, we, uh, plus we live in Canada here, we get snow all the time. And uh, you know, we're not like Texas, so we're prepared for it. So we need four wheel drive. It snows here regularly, you need four wheel drive to get through the deep snow, especially in the countryside. And you want comfort and space. If you're gonna do a road trip, or you're gonna drive somewhere, you're already inside a little tin box, you may as well have some space to stretch out a bit and be comfortable and not packed in like a little sardine can, you know? My opinions. I'd love to hear more of your opinions though in my comment section. I love hearing what you guys think. The downside of driving a big vehicle is that they, they burn more gas. They do. I guess you just gotta figure out if it's worth it for you. We got a train up ahead. You see it over there? Because this is Manitoba and this is Winnipeg, we, we don't believe in overpasses. Nuh-uh. No overpasses for us. We gotta wait for all these trains. And we're like the crossroads of Canada. The crossroads of North America for a lot of freight. So a lot of freight moving east-west. All the freight moving east-west goes right through here. We got a lot of trains. You got the Canadian National that runs through here, and you got the Canadian Pacific that runs through here. 
Plus, you got some American trains that come up every now and then. Every, one, every once in a while, you'll see like a BNSF train, and then you'll sort of take a take a second look, like what's that guy doing here? But obviously, they come up here too every now and then. I know our trains go down south all the time. Same way with trucking, right? Not as many American trucks come up into Canada. Some of them do. Most of them go to Toronto and Southern Ontario if they do, but not as many. But every Canadian truck driver goes to the U.S. You cannot get an over-the-road long-haul job in Canada if you're, if you're not able to cross into the U.S. It's essential here because we, we bring all our stuff down there for them. They don't come and get it. They, I don't think a lot of them even know we're up here. But uh, we bring them down all, a whole bunch of stuff. And then we'll bring our stuff back. They're busy enough dealing with all their stuff going on down there. I guess trains are very similar. I see Canadian trains in the U.S. all the time. Very rarely ever see an American train in Canada. Very rarely. Americans don't come here too often. Every once in a while you'll get a few people that come up and visit from like North Dakota, but for the most part I think they forget about us up here. Or they think we live in igloos. One of those. Do you know that Canada is, uh, I shouldn't say one of the only countries, but <laughs> one of the few, few countries of the world that has not one U.S. military base on its soil? Now we got a military base for the U.S. up in Greenland, up to our northeast. You got military bases in Alaska, obviously. And then obviously in the lower 48, you got military all over the place there too. So we're, we are surrounded by them. Good thing they're our friends. But no military boots on Canadian soil. We're in a rush today. It's been rush, rush, rush. Like I've been saying, the, the morning really was dragging its feet. Everything was taking a lot longer than it should have in the morning. So now we're rushing to try and catch up. It's tough to do because one thing snowballs into the next thing all the time. We're on our way out of the city right now. Got to try and get all my deliveries done before everyone goes home on this fine Wednesday. He has been sitting there watching me the entire time I put this vlog together. <laughs> Chevy, come here. You don't have to sit over there. You can come here if you want. I think I'm good here. I'm okay. You can come here if you want. You just want to watch? You sure? <laughs> so the vlog today was a lot shorter than usual. I was, I was uh, a little bit tired today. And uh, didn't feel like talking a lot. But the thing about making daily vlogs is tomorrow is a new day. And we'll make a new video tomorrow. And I'm sure I'll probably feel like talking a lot more tomorrow. So we might have a longer video then. Don't forget to subscribe and tune in so you don't miss it. I uh, asked a question recently on my YouTube page about what you guys wanted to see more in my videos. If you haven't already responded there, uh, head on down. Head on. Oh, something's going on down there. Oh, got Diesel's attention. Diesel, come here. Diesel. I think they heard a car honking on the TV and thought that it was outside. And went straight into guard dog duty. Diesel. You distracted Chevy. He was watching me for the past, like, 20 minutes without moving. It's okay, Chev. We all fall for it. <laughs> I was asking, uh... Anyways, if you haven't... If you haven't responded there already, you can go onto my YouTube page and uh, probably see where I asked it. If not, maybe I'll ask it again. I'd like to get as many opinions as possible, but for the majority of it, you guys were saying you want to see more of Brit and more of the dogs. That's you, Chevy. And less of me. But that's okay, because that's sort of what I was hoping the answer would be, because I don't want this channel to be just completely about me. I want it to be about everything that's a big part of my life. The dogs, my wife, our future kids, 
or families. I want it to be about everything that's in my life, everything that's important to me. If you uh, have been following me for any length of time, you know that family is what is number one in my life. There's nothing more important than family, and I don't get to see my family that often. I don't see them all the time, but I want them to play a big part in this when they want to. So Britt doesn't like filming and vlogging every day like I do. It's it's a bit of a tedious job to have. It's 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 a lot to try and find something to talk about. Like today, I was really tired. I couldn't really think of anything to talk about today, so we didn't have much of a vlog. But I still got something together here. We got 10 minutes of video plus this end clip. It'll be about 13, 14 minutes. Uh, but it's not for everybody. But she does like being a part of it, and uh, she's going to try to uh, uh, input more whenever she can, whenever she's feeling up to it. Uh, we're trying to have a baby right now. We're in the process of her IUI, so the less stress on her, the better. So, like I said, whenever she wants to, she can add something in there, and I'll probably just add it right into these videos. Those are always my favorite to put together when she films something throughout the day and we sort of mix our days together. I love those the most. So I, I hear you. I, I saw what you guys want to see more. You guys want to see more also uh, of uh, maybe some backing up, some more head cam footage, uh, some more details about the job of what I do uh, as a truck driver in Canada, you know, things I deal with. Uh, there are some limits to what I can share, but uh, I'll do my best to work with them to show you as much as I can. Uh, but I appreciate all your feedback there if you haven't. Like I said, you can go and leave your feedback as well, or you can leave your feedback in the comments of this video here. What would you like to see more of in my videos? And I'll, uh, I'll try to accommodate. Is that the right word? <clears throat> Honestly, I need ideas, guys. I make videos every day. I've been doing this almost 10 years. I need some ideas. I need your help. What would you like to see more of so that I can maybe get some some new ideas sparking in my mind so that I can keep these vlogs interesting. I want you to be a part of this as much as we are. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out.